have we have not posted this is real life okay and um, as I always promise you we'll bring you rare rare talk and real life I'm in Ghana with the kids and um, my son wants to share his experience so if you are there listen to me and you are a Ghanaian just listen to this okay so we can help our country it's good for us to bring our kids for them to see where we're coming from because my son is saying his passion his passion is to come back to the country and see what he can do so put your comments below listen to what Joseph is going to say and let's crack it on there Joseph introduce yourself to Anyway, I'm actually in South. We went, we took a taxi here, yeah? and then we see everyone in Ghana. Everyone, all the taxis, all the taxis, they all look the same. The taxis, they all look the same. Well, the cars are so bad that we took three taxis, and we're based on the noise of the taxi. When one taxi you go, the car every time you break, go beep beep. <laughs> and then we got the same taxi. Me and Mom got the same. We got in another taxi, yeah. and then we realized it was the same taxi just based on the car noise. Even this car when we first got it, when the car we first got it, remember the squeaky noise? Yeah, 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 yeah. Squeaky. Give it two more months, the car will go back to make the squeaky noise. <laughs> Because every I know when they're gone and they don't like fixing their cars. I don't understand. Yeah, it's like crazy. everyone wants a car and everyone wants to drive, but then when yeah. you get a car, no one takes care of their cars. So it doesn't make sense. And the roads are so bad. So it's like, what's the point of even driving? You might as well walk. And have you realized? <laughs> have you realized? You see, you see, gone on roads. Yeah, you see, gone on roads. You see in England where it's uh -huh. like left and right. Yeah, yeah. This right. one, they don't, Ghana, have, they don't have, have any left and right. Yeah, yesterday. It's just straight yeah, yesterday. To the end, ten minutes so straight. Bad. Right. And they do have right. any like cross light like, zebra. Yeah, no, you no know, me lights. and Margaret were trying to cross the road when we were like, we were just going across the road mm -hmm. to like get some food to bring that to the house. Why is there no and traffic then, lights? We were literally trying to cross. The guy didn't even bother to slow down. He literally full on, he literally ran over us. Yeah, because you know how they drive. It, it was so up. bad. And that's why I keep saying that. Mr. You should let me drive, let me drive. Because I've figured out how, how you drive in Ghana. <laughs> It's harder to drive in England, it's harder to drive in Ghana. Because in okay. Ghana, uh -huh. it's every man for himself. If yeah. someone's in your way, you just honk your horse yeah. and then you drive past. Yeah, that's how they drive. That's how everyone you. drives and it's so bad. It's like, how do you even get your license? <laughs> they, have, they have tests in Ghana. Yeah. Hi guys, I think tests? this is really serious. The way we drive in Ghana is really <laughs> appalling. <laughs> and I believe <laughs> this is in <laughs> every <laughs> single African country. Okay? Um, the kids are wondering how people are driving here. People are on other people's Lane and you know, so let's keep listening to them. I feel like Ghana is a lot better than England, but the way that people have turned it, like the people here have made it out to be, that's why it's like this. Because if you think about it, we have all the natural resources and stuff that come from Ghana, even when people think like we don't have water, we don't have gas and stuff, we have all of it, all of it's here. It's just this is why in Ghana the rich stay rich and the poor stay poor. Because right. the poor yeah, they right. just sell, they sell, do. sell, they and they tell their children sell, 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 sell. And they tell them to say so so and then the people that are rich who have figured that out they go and they spend their money they go and build their own houses and they live their life and they're not helping anyone else and that's why it's like all the people that sell the streets it's good because you're trying to make money yeah you're trying to you're trying to make money and if you just if you just keep doing it you need to look for a new way out why don't instead of selling on the streets why don't you open up your own shop and expand your shop yeah but most of them don't have most of them don't they have, have money. money yeah but that's what i'm saying you come together you help instead of everyone fighting for customers you can, you can be on one road and there'll be everyone's every will be there'll be like five different ladies i remember i was on the streets i was walking there was like five different ladies yeah. and they were all selling the same thing all selling the same thing they're right next to each other they're all selling water yeah. and you're right next to each other and you're fighting why don't you just come together mm -hmm. make make up a a, a, a bigger shop, shop. yeah, yeah. and you can split can come, the money split the money that way you'll bring them more money together You'll have more money for yourselves because you're gonna have more customers because you're all split in it. Yeah. And also, you'll bring more attention. Then you have more money. Then you can go on to build a bigger shop. Then you can start expanding. That's what yeah, they do. Yeah. Even in if England. you don't want to work with others, in at least you have the money to start working. In like, England, for yourself. If later I went on. in England right now and I opened up my own barber shop and yeah. it done well, it done well. I have more money. Then I'll go open up another barber shop somewhere else. Then hire a dirt somewhere else to work. Yeah. Then somewhere else until the name gets bigger and bigger spread. and bigger. Exactly. Yeah, that's how you spread. Yeah. Been gone and they don't do that. It's just everyone, everyone for themselves. It doesn't oh, make this sense. Is like a really good it doesn't make sense at all. That's the problem with Ghana. Everyone's fighting for themselves, not knowing they can help each other. No well. So that means what you are trying to say is that Ghanaians, we are not working together. We don't yeah. work together. The rich just want to stay rich, and the mm -hmm. poor want to be rich. But then they, they're really and truly they're just staying poor, yeah. and they don't even realize it. But they're staying poor on purpose. Mm. Okay. Everyone's selling. Hello. Did you hear that? 
all the Ghanaians who are listening to real life talk let's do something let's work together because um, we've only been in Ghana I think literally on sun in Sunday night we came on Sunday night so it's literally been what four days and um, you know the recognition and what they have seen is amazing we want to talk about speed limits okay um, so Ghana is amazing beautiful country beautiful people but I think um, as we all know our government is not doing great in terms of putting structures in place but I have to be very honest I left Ghana 23 years ago and coming back Ghana has really really developed yeah but our development is literally like really 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 tiny slow like tetos walking but we get in there and um, Joseph is wondering why people don't stick to their lanes he is wondering why there's no speed camera what's your comment concerning that let me hear you put your comments below and let's tell Joseph why there is no speed limits um, on the roads and all the drivers are speeding they are going to their own limits and what's not so Joseph what do you think um, why we don't have them um, you were just saying about them um, how the roads doesn't have speed limits um, people are people are not staying in their lane and what's not it's not it's not it's a race everyone's like racing everybody's racing yeah, yeah everyone's going 50 miles plus it's basically a race on the street <laughs> and, it, and because it's just one because it's just one straight long road everyone's just racing on the road yeah. there's no turns left the only time people slow down is when they see potholes because they don't know how their car that's yeah. <laughs> it apart from that everyone's just racing wow 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 guys um those of us in power what can we do to help because I have asked the question as well. Where is speed limits? It's like we are going to the limits we want. Everybody is racing. And this is quite serious. Yeah. So put your comments below. All the Ghanaians, put your comments below. If you are from Uganda, put your comments below. If you are Zimbabwe, put your... Because you know we are all in the same boat. All of us are Kenya. We are all in the same boat. Nigeria is even worse. We are all in the same boat. Put your comments below. Thank you. Keep watching. There's more coming your way. So we're going to be here for another four, I think another four weeks. So we will come up with more videos. This is just the beginning. Okay. So keep watching.